Hello, welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today we're in our kitchen and we're working to try and lighten up this dark area, our work area, our workspace over here. And we're going to be installing this LED tape light. Now, we've done things in the past that have helped us with our lighting in our kitchen. Our overhead light, we replaced our regular light bulbs with LED bulbs. That helped a good bit. Under our microwave, there's lights that light up our stove. We also replaced those with LED lights. There's a video about that if you are interested. That helped too. And, and some years ago, uh, we installed a fluorescent light under here. And let's see if I can find a switch uh, right there. And, and that helps a lot, but it's just, you know, it doesn't light up down here. If we move the light down here, it doesn't light up over there. And, you know, we just want more light in this area. And right now it's daytime. We've got sunlight coming in the windows and it's not that bad right now, but at night, you're almost working in the dark over here trying to do your food preparation and things. So um, anyway, we're going to install this LED tape light underneath here today. That's what we're going to be doing. And our channel, Do It Yourself with Wayne, is all about teaching you how to do things yourself to save money. So if you're interested in saving money, subscribe to our channel and we'll help you with that. So now we're going to move forward. We're going to show you unboxing this. We're going to remove that. And then we're going to install this LED tape light to hopefully improve our lighting over here in our work area. Now at this point we've taken our old fluorescent light down and uh, we may use that somewhere else later but for right now we're just going to leave it in probably in a junk box. But this is the new one. It's from Ultratech. I bought this at one of the big box hardware stores. Uh, I'm not sure you can get this brand anywhere else. I think it's proprietary to them. But there are other companies that sell a very similar product. We gave $20 for this. It was $19.98 or something like that, but $20. Um, the strip light is eight feet long and we're gonna use the entire eight feet here because that's how much length we have coming down and across. Um, but this tape light can be shortened. Every two inches you can cut it if you want to to reduce the length. But whatever you cut off, you have to throw away. You can't reuse it. Uh, but it can be shortened if you don't need the whole entire eight feet. But there are other brands that sell these. There's also a lot of other options you can get for variable colors and things. But in our kitchen, all we want is white. Now this puts out a white light that's at 4,000 K. Um, I've mentioned in a few of my videos about the K rating. And basically K indicates the color of white light. The lower the number, the closer you are to the yellow, the dimmer, softer white lights, uh, the higher the number. The, you know, you get into what is considered sunlight around 4,500 to 5,500 K. And above that, the lights start looking more like a blue light. Uh, but this is 4,000 K, which should be a good color for our kitchen. Uh, but some of the other ones you can buy, you can vary the K color of the light, of the white. And you can also choose other colors, you know, if you want an accent lighting. Uh, but there are a lot of options for these tape lights available, but we just wanted the white for in here in our kitchen. So uh, now I'm going to open the package up and show you what it looks like. Now I have opened these up because this sealed package is a little bit difficult, but everything is packed back up exactly the way it came. And uh, when you open the package up, uh, the first thing we got out was our switch. Now this is just an inline switch. Um, these LEDs are dimmable. And the switch here is just a slider switch. One way is off and the further you push it, the brighter they get until you get the full intensity. So that'll be the, the on off uh, dimmer control for the LED strip light or tape light. Uh, comes with a little power supply, like you know, I'm sure everybody's familiar with these, just to plug it in. Uh, comes with a little package of hardware. Now the tape light itself has a self adhesive backing We'll be taking alcohol and cleaning this real good before we stick it on there. But still, it may not stick well. So your hardware package is little plastic or nylon. I'm not sure which. But little things that will go over the strip light. You put them every 12 inches with a couple of little screws just to make sure it stays up there just in case the self-adhesive on the back of the tape light you know, does come loose. So you get, do get that as well. You don't have to use it, but it is there. And uh, then you got your instructions. Uh, mostly the instructions are visual uh, pictures that showing you what to do but you know except for you know the parts to hold the tape light up you, you got three parts so it's not hard to install this thing 
And then here in the front of the package is where your tape light is at. It comes on a reel like this and you just unroll it. And uh, of course this ends the plug where you just plug it into your, your switch that I showed you earlier. And then this is the tape that has little LEDs stuck on it. It's got the strip you pull off the back to expose the uh, double stick tape that's on the back. And you just, you know, stick it up wherever you need your light. You can cut it at two inch intervals and the instructions do tell you where you can cut it if you want to shorten it. But uh, like I said earlier, we will be using the full eight feet in our installation here. So uh, let's get started installing this. Now at this point, I'm going to fess up to my mistake. We did a whole series of where we talked about installing this thing and when we were editing the video, we for, I had forgotten to turn on my microphones. We had no audio. So we're going back and we're doing some more of this. And, and I'm gonna, you know, so I just wanted to let you know why it's a little different and the lights are already installed and working at this point. But we started out underneath our cabinet. We cleaned it really good with 409. Uh, you don't have to clean with 409, but just something that's a good degreaser because in your kitchen, you have a lot of um, uh, grease that will accumulate on things. And that will keep your the double stick tape on your the back of your uh, your strip light to not stick well. So like I said, we started out, we cleaned real good with a 409, which is a degreaser. And we had tried sticking some regular tape under here and it just didn't stick good because the bottom of this wood has a little bit of texture to it. So we took this sanding block and we sanded where the strip is gonna go, which smoothed it up a lot. And uh, then we went back with the alcohol after that. And when we were doing this, it kind of got the wood a little bit wet. So we gave it, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes to dry good. And then we came back with the alcohol and wiped that down really good with the alcohol so that the double stick tape would stick better. So that's what we did to prepare the underside of our cabinet for the strip light. Now I'm going to try and put a, a fitch picture under here of what we did. But our strip light... Uh, well, our cabinet, there's a lip here. This piece of wood right here sticks down further than the wood that's back here. Well, the, the tape for the LEDs is going to be stuck back here, not on this edge. So we didn't want it right against this piece, if you follow what I'm saying. I'll try to put a picture of this up in the corner if we can get something decent. But we moved the strip light back a little ways uh, so that there wouldn't be a shadow here of this edge. And that's the reason we moved it back. In retrospect, I uh, respect I probably would have moved it back a little bit more. But, you know, we're good enough. We're not going to try and change it. But when you install that, if you do have the lip on your cabinet, make sure you move your strip back a little bit. But anyway, that's what we did to that point to get it, in, uh, get it prepared for being installed. Now, we started at this end over here. We took our strip, our LED tape light. And we just took the backing off the part that was going to be right here. Not the whole strip, just the part right here. And we held it up and we stuck it in place. Now in the corner here, and you may see a little bit of it stuck down, um, we got a piece of wood that we had to go over. And then we had to make a turn. Well, we got a couple of staples back here that we used to hold it in place so we could make that turn. But you don't want that turn tight. If you make a tight, sharp turn with this tape, you could damage part of it. So don't do that. And then we did the same thing down through here where we take small sections, where we take the backing off the double stick tape, hold it up there and stick it up. Make sure it's stuck good. Then we go on and do another section. We did that all the way across to get the tape stuck in there where we wanted it back just a little bit. Then when we got to the end, uh, it's just a matter of hooking up the cord and uh, I'll try to get a picture of this, but the, the switch that I showed you earlier for turning the light off and on or dimming it if you want to, it didn't come with a way to mount it. That was a little bit disappointing, but uh, what we did, we had some double stick tape. We put our own double stick tape on the back of it and stuck it up there where we wanted it. And we still got a little bit of uh, neatening up with the wires, but that pretty much finishes up the project except for neatening up those wires. Now the little strips that, uh, or the little brackets that came with the, the tape, 
that you can put across it with two screws. Those were a little bit difficult to get in there, but it's, you know, it can, you can get them in there. And I would recommend that you go to the trouble of doing that because over time, the, um, like right here, you can see that sticking down just a little bit. Uh, some of that tape doesn't stick great. And over time, it may drop down on you some. If you put those little straps on there that go across it with two little screws, uh, that helps to ensure that it won't come down for you. Uh, it's a good long-term fix. So I do recommend you do that. And that's about it. So basically, that's our installation of this LED tape light in our workspace area in the kitchen. And we are very happy with it. Uh, we were saying earlier, it's probably the best $20 we spent in a long time. So anyway, if you like this video, please click like and share it with your friends. And if you're interested in saving money, subscribe to our channel and we'll show you a lot more about how you can save money by doing things yourself. So thank you for visiting Do It Yourself with Wayne and we hope you have a great day.